play it. <laughs> I take men acting like a little boy. Audrey and welcome back to my channel Sharice Audrey today I'm doing a book tag okay so booksically <laughs> uh, book tag I, I saw Rocky from blonde with a book do this and I wanted to do it too so booksically I'm going to do this tag starting with the question question number one is tell us about tell us about your user blog channel name and your real name my channel name, if you don't know, is uh, Sharice Audrey. It's my middle name and first name because my name is Audrey. And so yeah. So when you go to my Twitter, it says Audrey Sharice and then it says, you know, my book to name, Sharice Audrey. I really like to talk about books. Hopefully I'm, I get better about talking about books. Question number two, open Instagram, search and chat about the the first three images. All right, I'm at the search. I see poetry, so I'm gonna click on this. It's by Leah or Leah J. Stone. And the picture is called, when you wake up tomorrow morning, take a second to breathe. Don't check your phone. Don't panic about what time it it is. Take a second, breathe into your body. Say good morning and mean it. Okay, there's another poetry. It says, I will love you, night and day, shadows and all, by Gare, Gare the gang word. But I don't follow these people. These are on my search. There's another poetry, I think. It's okay. You don't have to love me. You've inspired me. And that's kind of the same thing by Zeph Gray Wright. Pretty cool. Question number three, open youtube and talk about the first three videos i'm just gonna go to my subscriptions and see who pops up there first i see <laughs> blonde with the book rocky she just uh did a tag video totally shouldn't tag you probably should check that out i like her like i like her videos and she's really nice to talk to on social media so if you guys haven't check her out check her out next i see is peter likes books he is talking about popular books I'll never read. A lot of booktubers are doing that lately. He's well known on booktube now. I start. I actually watched his videos when he first started booktube. And I saw him grow um, in his videos and, and how he is confident on screen. The next book, I mean... The next video I see is read by Zoe. I didn't finish this <laughs> video, but I will after this, after I'm done filming. And it's a huge spring book haul, and I just love her videos, especially the 24-hour read-thong she does. Um, that's very inspiring. You know what? I think I'm going to put a little splurge on this because I'm pretty sure you guys want to know what I watch other than book two. I'll tell you guys the three videos that pop up on my subscription. First is Jessica Flores. Um, she is deaf and I love watching her videos. She talks about, you know, deaf culture and why to caption and what it's like to be deaf and what hearing aids look like. So it's very educational. Check Jessica Flores out. Next is TED Talks. I haven't watched TED Talks in a while, but I guess this TED Talk is about beyond IQ and EQ by all anchor I don't know how to say his name but I love TED talks do you guys love TED talks third one is Avalon Cameron or Cameron yeah I've been watching her videos for a long time she talks about which witchy things new age things Oracle tarot stones all that jazz but right now her video right here is called the which is a tar tour so i don't know what that is but i can't wait to watch it question number four 
your favorite song to listen to while reading, writing, and how many plays it got. I don't listen to music while I read and I certainly don't listen to music. <laughs> well, I don't really listen to music when I write poetry, but I do have like a song in mind, like the, the music to a song. But I do have favorite song right now, I do. I recently discovered this girl and her name is Lolo. Lolo Zu, Zu, Zu I? I don't know. I'll leave it in the description down below, but this song of hers is called IDR. The meaning of IDR is I don't remember. I loved you. love that song i love her stuff i can't wait for her to come out with more stuff my favorite song right now it feels like my life Question number five favorite book on your shelf shelf at the moment how many books did you read this month hold on let me check goodreads to see how many books i read this month it's not on my shelf yet but it will have a home on my shelf since i finished this book in March so I'll put it on my shelf after my March wrap-up but that is uh, The Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Core and I mark tabs uh, let me see the last tab I okay I'm gonna flip to a random tab look at what they done the earth cried to the moon they <laughs> turned me into one entire bruise green and blue I don't know why I laugh. A good read. I definitely like this more than her first one, Milk and Honey. Can't wait for her to come out with more, more poetry collections. Question number six. Favorite bookish thing you love using as a prop in your photos or videos? I don't really have bookish things. I have a Harry Potter shirt, but it's not in my background. I love using my incense and that salt candle right there so I guess those are my favorite props to use in all my videos if I can get it in the shots but um this bookshelf I guess, I guess this bookshelf is a prop and all my books they're all books and they're all bookish things okay question number seven three books you're dying to reread but probably will never well probably never will how to build a girl Kardashian confidential book these broken stars question number eight amazing bookish finds this can be books bookish things or bookish moments last year i saw that lifetime was giving away a book and i was like hey what the heck maybe let me just sign up to win a free book i probably might not get it and i got it and i loved it and that this is Sea Change, please check it out. Um, Anna from It's My Birthright mentioned this sounded like The Temptest by Shakespeare and I'm reading that right now. I wish there was like a second book to this. Oh yeah, <laughs> what's amazing about this is that um, I kept the giveaway thing and the author it never changed and it has her autograph right here so that's amazing and it's amazing too because I really like the book and the last question question number nine hottest authors slash author crush Taryn Fisher she she is a babe like <laughs> she is pregnant now like she has the full-on bump and she still looks good yeah even though i didn't read any of her her books i read never never um with colleen hoover but i'm going to get her book one of her books eventually maybe maybe i'll buy her books right now one of them alias ruby core she's really she is a, a babe too i love how she puts her culture into her style and her culture into her writing her culture always just speaking out about it and that is just amazing I love 
when people talk about their culture and what they've gone through and that is sexy. I don't know. I don't really have author crushes, but those are the two that I think that come to mind. <laughs> that is it for the book tag. I will tag the people down below. So please check down below to see if you're tagged. And if you're not tagged, you are free to do this tag. Just let me know when you've done it. And so I can check out your video so you can get more views and more support. Oh, another thing. I just hit a hundred subscribers. I never thought in a million years I would get a hundred subscribers, but thanks for supporting me and subscri subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it so much. It motivates me to continue. Please like and subscribe and follow me on all my social medias because I'm active on there. And I'll see you later.